Hi guys, got a request from LOL Plane to make a simple switch to turn things on and off. So I'm going to assume that we can't use a soldering iron or hot glue or anything like that. So all I'm going to use, I've got a small electric motor here. I'll put the propeller on it just so you can see when it turns. I've got a double A battery. I've got some paper clips. Uh, these are actually coated with plastic, but they don't need to be. That just happens to be the ones that I've got. I've got one there that isn't. I've got some coated with red plastic as well. I've got some drawing pins or thumbtacks, depending on what you call them. I've got some map pins as well. So all I'm going to do is make a little circuit that connects that battery to that motor. That's a good start. Those particular paper clips are a bit too big to go through the little holes that are in the contacts there. Let's try that one, that's a bit thinner. Right, that goes through alright. So I'll use that to make contact with the motor. Two of them, one for each side, and I've only got one of those paper clips. So we'll straighten that out a bit. Cut it in half. Right, so that'll make contact. All right, I'll make some little circles there. Well, say circles, they don't need to be exactly right. do to give us the rough position. We can adjust it in a minute. Right, plan is we want to make a switch so we can actually turn it on and off.
got an idea what I want to do. First thing I'll do is I'll bend that right over so we don't have a pointy bit sticking in our fingers. Okay, that looks like I've got a general idea there. This end stripped off as well.
Right, I'll just bend another paper clip to go over there to hold it in place. So there we are, a simple on-off switch. If I actually slide it underneath, it stays on. Better zoom in a little bit so we can see that clearer. So I'll just go through this electric motor with a little propeller on it, fan blade, held in place with a bent paper clip, held in place with two thumbtacks. Then I cut one paper clip in half and pushed it through the two terminals on the electric motor and held each half of it in place with another thumbtack. Then we've got another bent paper clip coming along here, making contact with the positive end of the battery, held in place with a map pin there. Then we've got another bent paper clip coming along here, making contact with the negative end of the battery, held in place with a thumbtack. And at this end it's held in place with a map pin, no significance, thumbtack would have worked. And I've bent it so it doesn't actually touch that thumbtack unless you push it. When you push it, starts the motor. When you let it go, it stops it. Or if you push it underneath, it actually stays in place. Job done.